Hello guys, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we are going to talk about doxycycline antibiotic. What is doxycycline and really I'm excited about doxycycline. What is uh, the role of doxycycline antibiotic in treating in infections, doxycycline mechanism of action, doxycycline use and doxycycline side effects. These are all the topics that we are going to discuss in today's lecture. So the, let's start with the general properties and you can clearly see I have put a picture of acne here so doxycycline is kind of widely used for the acne treatment so it's a broad spectrum tetracycline class antibiotics used in the treatment of infections caused by bacteria and certain parasites and it is used to treat infections like pneumonia acne chlamydia lyme disease cholera typhus and syphilis so let's put them let's separate them together there are three kinds of infection where we are using amoxicillin uh, uh, quite often uh, here okay uh, sorry doxycycline we're talking about doxycycline here so we're using doxycycline for uh, the treatment of three different kinds of infections one is uh, the respiratory tract infection that is pneumonia second type is a skin infection like acne and the third type is kind of stds that is chlamydia uh, typhus uh, chlamydia syphilis lyme disease and all apart from that it can be used in cholera and typhus too on the other hand it is also used to prevent malaria in combination with other drug that is quinine earlier it was used like there's a combination of doxycycline and quinine used together but now they are different so what are the classification of this drug basically this drug belong to tetracycline group of antibiotics tetracycline type okay so when i say doxycycline it's a part of tetracycline antibiotic and when i say tetracycline antibiotic what is the mode of action of tetracycline antibiotic okay or doxycycline in this case mechanism of action it is a protein synthesis protein synthesis inhibitor okay so you know proteins need to be synthesized by bacteria for for uh, the growth of the bacteria itself so basically the doxycycline reversibly binds to the 30th ribosomal subunit of the bacteria bacterial ribosome and blocks the binding of amino acyl tRNA to the mRNA inhibiting the protein synthesis so bacterial protein synthesis is very important for the bacteria to survive and grow but in this case we know that the bacteria contains the 50th and 30th subunit of the ribosome and together it forms 70th ribosome so mRNA is in the middle okay so what happens here is that this antibiotic that is doxycycline which is a class of tetracycline antibiotic in any class of tetracycline antibiotic they are going to interact to the 30th ribosomal subunit they bind to the 30th ribosomal subunit basically to the A site so there are three sites there is this E site there is P site there is A site so this doxycycline binds to the A site and it will not allow generally in the a site is the place where the amino acyl trna comes in so this is the place where the do doxycycline binds and it will not allow the bringing of amino acyl trna to this place so this is amino acyl trna failed to interact to the mrna and with the 30th subunit here in the a site due to the blockage of doxycycline okay uh, so it inhibits the protein synthesis and it is also found to inhibit the collagenase activity in vitro okay so these are the two different mechanism of action for doxycycline antibiotic now in this segment we are going to see an animated video regarding the 30th inhibitor example tetracycline tetracycline antibiotics they are known as 30th inhibitor so they inhibit the 30th ribosomal subunit of prokaryotic ribosome and thus preventing the protein synthesis so again for protein synthesis we know we have an mrna which contains codon represented in blue dark blue and orange color we have 30th subunit and 50th subunit containing e p and a site we have uh, the trna which is on growing phase uh, the polypeptides denoted with the blue dot structures here single blue dot means single amino acid and this structure of polypeptide is attached with the trna to the p site and also we have trna that will bring new amino acid once the amino acid is connected to the trna we call it charged trna and they will bring this amino acid to the a site and then the peptidyl transfer activity will be done and the polypeptide chain will be transferred from the trna of the p site to the trna of the a site okay this is how the transfer is done this is how the elongation process of protein synthesis works this is how new pro polypeptide chain is being synthesized now let's go back and see what happens if there is a presence of tetracycline antibiotic so the tetracycline antibiotic comes and interact to the a site basically it it blocks the a site 
and as it prevents the A site, it binds to the A site of the 30th ribosomal subunit. It will not allow the charged tRNA to bring amino acid to the A site. So charged tRNA failed to bring a new amino acid. As a result, protein synthesis inhibition and dissociation of all the components and thus can cause the cells to stop the growth. That's why many of these inhibitors and antibiotics are bacteriostatic and if you use it for a longer duration of time in high dosage, they will become bactericidal or they can kill the bacterial cell. What are the clinical uses of doxycycline antibiotic? Starts with uh, treatment in bacterial treatment, bacterial infection, antibacterial uh, dosage against pneumonia and other respiratory tract infections. So that is the respiratory tract infections. RTI and it can also be used for skin and eye infection okay infections of the lymphatic intestinal genital and urinary system so basically it can also be used for UTIs it can also be used for the skin infections like acne and eye infections certain other infections that are spread by ticks lice mites infected animals so basically they are chlamydia the Lyme disease and all those things okay so these are the different uh, example of uh, microorganism and related to the disease like mycoplasma, rickettsia, chlamydia, vibrio cholerae, bacillus anthracis, spirochetes. All of these different disease causing agents can be killed by utilizing doxycycline antibiotic. Okay, for mycoplasma causing uh, pneumonia, rickettsia, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, chlamydia causing you know trachoma, vibrio Cholerae caused cholera, bacillus anthracis causing anthracis, spirochetes causing Lyme's disease. So basically the doxycycline can act against mycoplasma, rickettsia, chlamydia, vibrio cholerae, bacillus anthracis, spirochetes and all these different disease causative agents and they can successfully kill them and restrict their growth by inhibiting the protein synthesis machinery as well as found to have an effect on collagenase activity, inhibition of collagenase activity and we know this microorganism uses this collagenase enzyme to degrade and destroy collagen protein that is a tissue um, structural material for us and the destruction of collagen uh, results in the proper involvement and uh, what you can say that colonization of microorganism in specific region of our body and tissues of our body. So what are the side effects of doxycycline antibiotic? So there are different array of side effects listed here. You can see that uh, basically we are talking about the doxycycline side effects if we take it orally, not inje not via injection or not via intravenous mode. So sudden acne outbreak, that is one thing. Uh, permanent tooth discoloration, if we use it for too long time. Esophagitis is one uh, problem. Rashes, itching photosensitivity, candidiasis, fungal infection of the skin and the mucous membrane that can also be resulted and it can also kill the gastrointestinal bacteria that may lead to several different kinds of uh, abdominal distress including vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, abdominal cramp and uh, spasms. So these are all different kinds of uh, side effects of oral doxycycline but we still know that yes although the side effects are there it is well tolerated and basically doxycycline is, is a blessing for treating infections by spirochetes, mycoplasma, rickettsia, chlamydia. So generally the primary uh, antibiotics that we use for infections there are strictly for bacterial infection but these infections by spirochetes, mycoplasma, rickettsia, chlamydia uh, are generally not being treated well or responded well by the other antibiotics. So doxycycline is a blessing against this infective agents. Okay, so that's all about doxycycline antibiotic. I believe you have a clear idea about doxycycline use, doxycycline mechanism of action and doxycycline general properties. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe so that you get to see all the antibiotic videos in this channel and also many more to come. Thank you. Bye.